Hello everyone and welcome back to The Drawing Board with me, Vicky Mastoridu. Our topic today is the Environmental Product Declaration, or else EPD Type 3, and their application in the construction industry. What is an EPD? An EPD is a document that quantifies environmental uh, impacts of a product or services. An important aspect of an EPD is to provide the basis for a fair comparison uh, between products or services by their environmental performance. They are also a good indicator to show the areas of the product life cycle that cause too much stress on the environment. For uh, an EPD, uh, we use life cycle assessment methodology as a tool. What we really do in a life cycle assessment is counting the emissions produced during the different stages of the life cycle of the product. These emissions come in different shapes and formats. Since the emissions from producing, from extracting uh, raw materials uh, are very different from the emissions from producing electricity. Uh, for this reason, we use the impact categories so we can convert these emissions in accountable numbers. Similar to using the key performance indicators, known as KPIs, to uh, evaluate the success of a business, uh, we use indicators to evaluate the environmental impacts of a product. Uh, the impact categories considered in the life cycle assessment are the global warming potential, eutrophication, acidification, ozone depletion, photochemical ozone creation, and the depletion of abiotic resources for both elements and fossils. Now, uh, depending on the, life uh, on the life cycle stages considered in uh, an EPD, we have different types. The minimum stage an EPD must have is the product stage, or else we have a cradle to gate approach. In case of a prop, this product stage includes all the emissions uh, produced during the extraction of raw materials. Uh, they are transported onto the steel factory to produce the standard sections and then any further processing and uh, uh, cutting from the manufacturer to create our final product. In the cradle to grave approach, we have uh, all the four stages of the life cycle of the product. It's the product stage, the construction, the use and the end. Going back into our example for the hydraulic probe, the construction stage includes all the emissions produced uh, during transport of the product from uh, our depot to site and back, and so uh, all the emissions produced during the installation. The use stage uh, includes all the maintenance, repairs, replacement, refurbishment, uh, and there is also a provision for the uh, operational energy and cost uh, of the product. Finally, uh, when it's time to retire the product, uh, it's been dismantled in its uh, component. Uh, some of them can be recycled or reused and the rest uh, will be disposed. Uh, in our case of uh, the probe, of a steel probe, uh, 99% of uh, the elements can be recycled. This is accounted, this is considered by the life cycle assessment and gives us back some uh, benefits as a reward. Uh, the, final stay, uh, the final type of uh, an EPD is a cradle to gate with options. Uh, as we've mentioned before, the product stage is default and is the minimum requirement, so any of the other stages or sub-stages are optional. Now, before I close this presentation, I would like to say a few things about the difference between the carbon footprint and the life cycle assessment. A carbon footprint assessment is a part of a life cycle assessment focusing mainly on the climate change and the global warming potential. This is the reason why we will see everything measured in carbon dioxide uh, emissions or equivalent units. Overall, uh, an EPD is a very important tool for the businesses in order, in order to achieve their sustainability goals and uh, to create uh, a more environmental friendly culture. I hope you enjoyed this topic. If there are any other uh, ideas or areas you would like us to speak about, please leave us a comment and either myself or my colleague Elliot can work on this. 
Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you back to the drawing board.